All right. Um, hello, everyone. Super excited for yet another ecosystem partner announcement here. I'm here with Sean from Buffalo Market. Um, Sean, you guys signed an MOU with us not too long ago, so you're one of our newer ecosystem members and super excited to have you on board. You want to give just a little intro about yourself and what Buffalo Market is for the for the community? Sure. I'm the co-founder at Buffalo Market, and I lead uh, all of our technology initiatives at, at the company. And we're a food distributor, which means that we pick up goods from a manufacturer and we take them directly to the retailer and put them on the shelves. We use technology to speed that up, make it more efficient, reduce waste, and for retailers and manufacturers, the big focus is on reducing out of stocks at the store level, which increases sales volumes. Gotcha. So was this, and you know, sorry if this is a dumb question, was this a big issue? Like, is it something like you looked at the market and were like, wow, this is something, you know, there's a lot of food going to waste. These things are being affected. So you started Buffalo Market. Is that kind of the origin of the company? It, it's more of a, a twist and a turn than that. Uh, I ran a blockchain before this and a social network before that. And uh, Buffalo Market was kind of a, a labor of passion uh, during early COVID. I, I love food, um, think it's delicious, live in California, but I couldn't buy a delicious tomato to save my life. Yeah. And so I uh, built an e-grocer with uh, my co-founder, Adam. Uh, called Right On, we would pick up the absolute best produce at two in two in the morning from the major produce uh, farmers, uh, and then deliver that to people by seven a.m. We scaled that company to all of California, and then we had supply chain issues. We couldn't get everyday items from regular distributors. We would order a hundred thousand dollars of goods, and only ten thousand dollars of items would show up, and then we would have nothing that our customers ordered. So yeah. things like sliced bread and, and milk and things like that. And so we ended up having to build our own distribution system. And we weren't thinking about building the tech stack for that. We just did that to be more efficient. And uh, then our the manufacturer started to tell us like, wow, you guys are really tech focused. And we didn't think we were on that side of the business. Uh, and then they started asking us to uh, fulfill their deliveries to our competitors. Uh, and so we started taking uh, products to Whole Foods and Costco uh, were our first customers, uh, which in the food distribution is a pretty big win. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, no, I agree. I used to actually work on a blueberry for a big blueberry farm. And when we got into Costco and Whole Foods, it was like, we made it, you know, so absolutely. Um, so how does helium fit into this? Um, why did you choose to use helium? How does it kind of help what you're doing and enable your solutions? So uh, kind of uh, interesting life skills. Uh, my social network was a mobile social network that used geolocation. So I was used to using that technology to um, help uh, gather information, show relevant content. And so we use that same technology for all of our trucks and, and taking them to um, uh, pick up, up stuff from the manufacturer or taking it to the retailer. Uh, if, but if you imagine something like ice cream or bread, it needs to be fresh or cold, uh, time matters. You know, bread only has a seven to 10 day shelf life. And uh, being able to show that we picked it up on time, you know, in, in the um, ERP I built that uh, uses mobile geolocation, I could show, I, hey, I was there on time. That's really my tech stack. And so someone could say, you edit that to always show that you're on time. Uh, adding that layer of helium for our asset tracking, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, it's immutable and um, and helps us build transparency, which I think is kind of our game changing um, addition to food distribution is that we're trying to be the most transparent uh, food distributor and show everything that happens along the chain. Uh, so asset tracking is one part and then cold chain technology is the other, right? Like if we take possession of that ice cream, you don't want it to thaw and then refreeze. There's nothing worse <laughs> than that. No one would know, right? You would put the, you would take that ice cream, put it on the shelf. The only person that would know would be the consumer. And yeah. they want to blame me. They would just be like, oh, that's bad ice cream. I'm not buying it again. Um, so this really ensures that we can improve quality, show that we're um, an honest broker. Um, so it's a brilliant technology and it's unbelievably low cost compared to any of the alternatives that are out there. 
um, running helium devices is, is quite, quite cheap. Yeah, no, definitely. That's really cool to hear. Um, I guess, are you, so you're in California, you said, right? Are, are you working elsewhere outside of California right now? Are you kind of all over the U S yeah, we deliver, we deliver to whole foods nationally. We deliver to, uh, Washington, Oregon, Arizona, Nevada, Texas, Alaska, Hawaii. Um, so pretty broad footprints and and growing all the time. Awesome. Um, I mean, you kind of name dropped whole foods and Costco already, which is, which is amazing. Are there any other like major partners you're working with, or, you know, you're looking at working with, if you can mention them, anything like that? Yeah, we, we actually work with the 40 largest retailers. So wow. Albertson, Safeways, Kroger's, Walmart. Walmart's pretty exciting for lots of different reasons. Um, one, they're really embracing blockchain. And then two, uh, they're one of the largest sellers of uh, healthy food products. Um, so better for the planet, better for you, uh, which was something that kind of surprised me um, yeah. initially. And we're really interested in um, making a positive impact that way. And we got in this because we love food and, and are uh, environmentally friendly. Um, in fact, we also use helium to track pollution. One of our warehouses is in one of the most polluted parts of the country. And so we use uh, airly devices to track pollution uh, within the warehouse for workers and then externally for the community. So we have a program where we partner with schools and give them healing devices. And that was really built around, we thought we had to build the hotspot network in kind of remote places, but by the time we even took action on that, in fact, I ended up with all these extra hotspots. We didn't have to deploy to any of our warehouses because there's total coverage now. Yeah. Um, and uh, we even built some off-grid um, uh, devices. I have one in my backyard because we just we didn't need it in the field. <laughs> no, that's that's very cool here. I mean, I think the one thing that, you know, as an employee at Helium, I know rural area coverage is something that definitely could be improved, but I love hearing that kind of story where there's already coverage in those places you thought you'd have to deploy hotspots. So that's we're, awesome. we're in rural, you know, agricultural areas where a lot of our warehouses are. So yeah. um, I was pretty, pretty surprised. Yeah, no, that's great to hear. Um, how about any exciting stats? You know, we always talk about like number of devices you have deployed or number of users or any kind of like big numbers that might, you know, the community loves big numbers. Yeah, uh, it just depends on how, what you think of as big. We <laughs> deliver to that. about uh, 1,900 uh, retailers every day, so uh, over 1,000 grocery stores. Um, we track our assets on two kinds of devices. I would show one, but um, uh, I've got my video, my background on, so it's barely uh, will show up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so we have two devices in, in each uh, vehicle. Um, one's the asset tracker and then one's the cold chain um, supplier. And then we also provide those to third parties. So um, uh, oftentimes uh, for like a long haul, like taking something from Seattle to California, um, that company that's providing that service, they don't have a great tech stack. So they end up using our tech stack and then we also give them these devices and they're really low cost. I mean, they cost so little to run on the network and then they're $80 to $120 a device. So uh, we had other devices we were paying $120 a month subscription on. So um, it's a changer. It feels like we can deploy them Um, because they're asset trackers. You don't lose them either. Um, yeah. so, yeah. uh, pretty easy to have a, a stable return on investment there. For sure. No, that's very cool. Um, how about any, I kind of asked you this already, but like any upcoming, like expansions, partnerships, releases, anything you want to tease a little bit for the community? Yeah. So for our ERP, we're taking our tech stack and going all the way down to the manufacturer level. So eventually the suppliers of those manufacturers will be able to use it. And then we'll have so much of how food is made on the supply chain. And if you think about some of our companies uh, like um, Alvarado Street Bakery or Inked Organics, which was one of the top selling breads at uh, Costco and Whole Foods, Mm -hmm. to have everything down to the the flour on the helium supply chain, um, blockchain is pretty impressive. So I think... 
I think we'll be pushing some use cases that um, will surprise uh, uh, the rest of the Helium ecosystem even. Yeah, no, that's really cool. And like you said, the transparency part, I think people nowadays too just want to know where their food is coming from and know the journey. Um, and so that's awesome to be able to to be able to help with that. Um, okay, so you and I are going to do an uplink episode. I don't think we have it scheduled yet, but in the near future, so the community can kind of stay tuned for that and you can dive a little bit deeper, show some demos, things like that. Um, can you tease a little bit about what you might want to show on the, you know, just give an overview, get people excited for something on the uplink at all? Yeah, I, I mean, I think what would be most exciting is uh, this thing behind me, seeing actually what it looks like in a truck, how it's how we deliver things and pick up. So yeah. um, we're going to have to get that um, that camera crew uh, ready so we can show that. It might be my first live action uplink. We'll go in the truck and everything, but you know, I'm I'm up for it. So, um, all right, awesome, Sean. I appreciate you coming on. Super excited to have Buffalo Market as part of our ecosystem. And like I said, community, stay tuned for the uplink coming up soon. You can hear hear more about what Buffalo Market's doing. So, thanks, Sean, for coming on. Appreciate it. Happy to. All right.